Wait till you hear this. One of the most mind-numbing aspects of our kind is our determination to discover. We look at the vastness of the vacuum and we believe there is more. We fantasize of encountering extraterrestrial life and we dream of colonization of other worlds. In our minds, it seems there are no limits, yet we are limited to our Earth, our Eden in the vastness of everything. Space may not be the final frontier, but it is the next. Parts of our Earth are just as alien and out of reach to us humans as the deepest parts of space, and in some ways, it may be easier to discover the cosmos than our home world. And in discovering the things we cannot currently see, we may just answer some of the questions that has filled our minds since the revolution of thought. We are all stardust after all. Everything that has ever been is ejected by the same materials dispersed at random. That means the things we call alien are collectively part of the same material. Everything forms and is formed from the gravitational influences at random and that includes us. Meaning we are part of the vastness and not just in a delusion of an existence. And this has inspired one Finnish astrophotographer who has taken on the daunting task of creating a mosaic of the Milky Way galaxy and has been doing so since way back in 2009. Only now revealing the long time project and it was worth the 12 year wait. 12 years to get the whole picture together shows an astounding degree of commitment to a project which is around 100,000 pixels wide and has 234 individual mosaic panels stitched together. Not only did he manage to capture the entire galaxy, but also 20 million stars within the Milky Way. Writing on his blog post, he states that the reason for a long time period is naturally the size of the mosaic and the fact that the image is very deep. Another reason is that I have shot most of the mosaic frames as individual compositions and published them as independent artworks. The California Nebula, also called NGC 1499, was discovered by E.E. E. Bernard in 1884. On the large mosaic image, it can be seen at the bottom left corner. The nebula is located around a thousand light years from Earth. Because it's low surface brightness, it is one of the most difficult astronomical objects to observe. The Bubble Nebula, around 11,000 light years from Earth, can be seen as a tiny pearl-like formation in the middle left. Near the bubble lies much larger Sharpless 157, which is the bright area at lower left. The Cave Nebula, which is relatively close at only 2,400 light years from Earth, is located on the upper right area of the photo. Cygnus is one of the most recognizable constellations in the sky. It contains one of the brightest stars in the sky called Deneb. The constellation Cygnus is an endless source of celestial wonders, both scientifically and aesthetically. As a visual artist, this area of night sky is very inspiring. There are endless amounts of amazing shapes and structures, and one can spend one's life just shooting images from this treasury of imagery with imaginative adaptation. Within the Cygnus constellation resides the Tulip Nebula. The object is also located next to the black hole or microquasar called Cygnus X1. In the bigger mosaic, the Tulip Nebula can be spotted at the center right, and the astrophotographer made the following blog entry comments. My current tool set is very suitable for this kind of objects, since it is kind of heavily undersampled, and that's good when I need to capture very dim and large objects. We thought you guys might enjoy this particular piece of imagery. Let us know what you are thinking, and as always, thank you for watching.